I recently sat down with a billion dollar man who coined the DCT method that you've been seeing on YouTube, where people are going broad with their e-commerce ads. And that same man taught me the seven pillars of e-commerce success. With that being said, I want to share those with you in today's video and also share with you a snippet of the call that I've had with them to give you some context. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. Before we go into anything else, let's roll the clip when the man himself, Professor Charlie, is sharing on our recent podcast episode, the seven pillars of e-commerce success, and let's dive right into it. And talking about that, if you had kind of one main lesson from from this talk that we've had together, just from your years also uh, in, in this sphere, what would it be for a first-time founder building an e-commerce brand? What would it be? You only need three of these seven things then you can make an eight-figure business. But if you don't have at least three of these seven things, you're going to fail. So now you might be wondering, what are these seven things? Charlie briefly explained those in this video, but I thought it deserved its own standalone video because of how genius this idea is. This was the biggest takeaway from that call, and I hope to do it justice by explaining today what I understood from this conversation with Charlie. But yet again, for context, Watch this podcast. This is honestly gonna be the best use of your time you can possibly do today. This podcast is insanely valuable and Charlie really went all in with the advice if you're building your own e-commerce brand. So that's it, let's get straight into it. What Charlie is saying is the following. So he's basically saying that on the one hand, you've got three pillars, which are the fundamentals. And on your other hand, you've got four nuances to these three fundamental pillars. And those work together, hand in hand, to create success for your brand. So he says, on the one hand, you kind of have ways for you to market your brand, right? Those are the fundamental ways of mastering marketing for your brand, which essentially you've got social, email, and search. See it how you want right here. That's social is paid ads or organic. You've got email marketing right here. Search, basically Google ads, Microsoft ads. And then you've got nuances to these three things. What he's saying is that you need at least two to three of these total seven things in order to scale your brand. You don't need to master all seven. And he said all the brands that he's worked with and given that he's worked with some high eight, nine figure brands, none of them have had all seven of these figured out. He said that at best, someone is gonna have four to five of them figured out, but no one is able to focus on all seven of these pillars. So fundamentals, you basically have, as mentioned earlier, organic slash paid social, so paid ads, email, so email marketing and search. Here, focus on one or two of these. That's it. Only master one or two of these. You don't need to master all of them. On the other hand, which are the nuances, which essentially those need to work hand in hand with your fundamentals. You've got four. You've got econometrician, which is essentially knowing your numbers. In our free PCAT community and course that is going to be found in the first link down below, I have an entire week on economics on mastering the unit economics within your brand on understanding all the finite little numbers here and there all the little tricks and knobs in your brand and understand how they all intertwine with each other this is being an econometrician being good with your numbers or actually being a master with your numbers second is storytelling that's kind of branding that's telling a story through your brand i've got brands who i can say confidently they're masters at storytelling They've actually built their brand on the backbone of storytelling. You'll often see that with brand who grew up really organically. They're great at kind of telling a story and creating a narrative for people to rally behind. Third one in nuances is consumer psychology. I would say for us as an agency, this is now one of our strong suit. One of the softwares that we're building right now is actually around consumer psychology. This is truly understanding the market the persona and understanding those needs, being able to kind of pick them out from the market and portraying them in a way that makes your product enticing. Fourth one is operations. The exact example Charlie gave in our podcast was with brand Obvi. He is an investor at the brand Obvi. If you don't know Obvi, they are a supplements brand in the e-commerce space. Obvi has recently went to Walmart and he said, this is an operational move because now through expanding to a wider range within you know, the, the huge retail sphere that Walmart is in, they expand the way to get their data operationally. That could also be you know, the way you structure your fulfillment, your operations, all the background, the team structure that you have, et cetera. This is ops. So at the very minimum, you need one out of each circle, right? 
Because as mentioned, you want two or three out of all of these things. At the very minimum, you need one between these two circles. So one here, one there. And then ideally, you'll want to get a second one in either of these circles. As an example, somebody could grow a brand amazing. They could be a master at Facebook ads, right? And also a master at being an econometrician. They know their numbers to the T. They can still scale a great brand. They don't need to be a master at storytelling. They don't need to be a master at operations. They, if they just master Facebook ads and their numbers, they can scale. But what's even better as an example is if they can master paid ads, econometrician, and as an example, consumer psychology. So now they actually speak to the right person. They understand the app platforms to the T and they go with their numbers. That's a pretty good combination. And your goal with watching this video is for you to decide which ones of these seven you need to focus on within your business. And that will help you kind of hone down because it gets overwhelming. I hear that a lot with first time founders They're like, man, there's so much to learn. There's so much to do. There's like, none of them are, are, are good at everything. They understand a little bit of everything. It's like, look, you need a basis for all seven of these things on screen right now. You need to understand at the basic level what all of these seven are. It doesn't need to mean that you'll be doing all seven of these. Again, you just need to have an understanding of all seven. And then you pick three, two to three, and you just focus in on this. So what I want you to do is after watching this video is you're going to come back to this screenshot that part and figure out which one of this circle you're going to pick, which one of that circle you're going to focus on. And until you're at least making seven figures a year with this brand, only focus on two. And that's usually what you'll see with starting drop shipping stores as an example. A lot of the drop shippers are actually great at ads and one of these right here. Usually they're good at ads and either being an econometrician or sometimes it's consumer psychology. They're good at essentially again ads most of the time and either econometrician or consumer psychology. This is the most common one I see within drop shippers. But see those as stones, right? Think of Thanos for a second. I'm gonna nerd out for a moment here. If he only has one stone, it's his gauntlet. He's only as strong as that one stone. When you add a second stone on it, it becomes a lot more powerful. He controls another dimension, then adds a third one, and then he completes the entire gauntlet. He's basically unstoppable. He's godlike. It's pretty much the same thing with the e-commerce version. This is the e-commerce version of Thanos gauntlet, essentially, where you have right here all seven stones that you need to amass to become a true killer. Will you ever amass all seven of these stones and be perfect in all of them? Hopefully, hopefully, but very rarely do brands ever get to that level. And think of it that way. This is where you want to have key people within your team that will be responsible for all of these, right? Econometrician. Eventually, you want to have a CFO whose job is to focus on the numbers and understanding these numbers. Consumer psychology slash storytelling. You might want to have like a chief brand officer or something like this. Somebody who's responsible for keeping a congruent brand image and making you a killer brand. An operation, an ops director or COO, right? You might want to have somebody who's going to be good, logistically speaking, and with operations. You go on the fundamentals. You want to have a killer paid ads team. You want to have a killer search team. You want to have a killer email team. If you can master all seven of these, you're unstoppable in the e-commerce version of this world. So again, hopefully I was able to do justice to this insane piece of knowledge and nuggets that was dropped by Charlie in our previous podcast. With that being said, highly recommend you check this video out as a next step after watching this video. It'll add a lot of context to that and even help you further plan out the direction you're going to take with your e-commerce store. With that being said, there's going to be also two links in the description down for you. First one is to join our free peak ad community and get access to our free e-commerce marketing course. And with that said, if you want to work with the paid advertising agency that can also help you produce your ad creatives, then there's a link for you to book in a call down below. If I was to judge our own agency, we focus on the paid social side here on the fundamental circle and in the nuances, we focus on consumer psychology and we're slowly getting better at becoming econometrician, although it's usually something that is reserved for the brand owners, but we're doing our best to help teach your clients how to master that part. With that being said, I'm going to wish you beautiful people an amazing day and see you in the next video. Peace.